Okay, tell me about your life before the surgery. Well, my life before the surgery was, uh, I was walking around in constant pain. I couldn't, uh, I had to stop moving the, mm -hmm. the, the food that we were, mm -hmm. we received because it was actually irritating my back. One to ten, how bad was the pain? How bad was the pain? Yeah, one to uh, ten. Ten being the worst pain you had done. It was uh, around ten. Ten? Mm -hmm. How many years or how long? No, well, I died as long as I could take it. So yeah. I, I want to say probably nine, eight months. Nine, eight months. Yeah. And you know, the, the, and you have seen other surgeon without saying any names. What did they tell you what you should be doing? Well, when they did the surgery, you know that. So it, you had the surgery before. I had the surgery in '08. And let me explain to you: the surgery you had, we call macro discectomy. Practically, what we go, we go and trim the disc, mm -hmm. get rid of the pressure on the nerve. But if the problem is the disc itself, just trimming it sometimes is not enough. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the bone and the disc grows back. Mm -hmm. And in your case, actually, we are going to look at it. Not only disc was growing back in the wrong places, but as well bone was growing significantly back in the wrong places. Mm. So I can imagine how miserable you were because okay. I see a huge piece of bone pushing on the nerve. We yes. look at that together. Yes. So they did that surgery for you. How long did that help you? How long? What? How long did that surgery that they did for you in 2018 help you? Uh, I say a, a few years. Okay. A few years. And then I got back. And then all of a sudden, the pain started coming back. Okay. And then I started having problems um, doing stuff. Yeah. I wasn't able. Was the pain in the back and the legs? Right. Both. Tell me about the leg pain. Where the was the leg, leg pain? This leg, I could, the right leg, I, have, I would have to stop walking. Yeah. Find a bench or find something to sit down mm -hmm. and rest it. One to ten, how bad was the leg pain? The leg pain, again, was excruciating. Excruciating, yeah. 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 That is how the direct pressure on the nerve feels like, excruciating. Mm -hmm. That's a word I hear very often. Mm -hmm. So we like to actually show what we did. Mm -hmm. See, you had the L4-5 macrodiscectomy, and a piece of bone was actually growing inside of the spinal canal. Mm -hmm. and. And as well, bottom disc, part of the disc was pushing. Mm -hmm. Now, we talked about that there are multiple ways to deal with that. In a regular old-fashioned way, we would go and remove all the bone in the back, mm -hmm. a lot of bone, a lot of muscle removal. We literally fillet you open just to remove all of that. Mm -hmm. But we had good indication that if we just make that bone stop moving mm -hmm. and lift it up, the result would be adequate to mm -hmm. get rid of the pain in your legs. Okay. Now, and what we did is that we went there and we put screws mm -hmm. in the L4, they are perfect okay. position. Mm -hmm. Then the spacer in the L4-5, screws mm -hmm. in the L5, and as well in the 5S1, in the bottom disc, you had a very peculiar situation. Mm -hmm. You had symptom on both sides, but because of bone were growing in so many wrong places, mm -hmm. we had to put that spacer on both sides. We call it bilateral olive, mm -hmm. which is a very special kind of procedure that we invented. Mm -hmm. Now, I think the most important question is, how is the leg pain that you had before the surgery? I haven't had any leg pain. So it's gone? Yeah. So in the surgery that uh, I have a record of the surgery, mm -hmm. This surgery, we did it just about a month ago, right? Right. It was on the first. Yeah. And our surgery was uh, barely half an, uh, one and a half hour. It was what? Right. It was barely one and a half hour. Yeah. It wasn't. One, it was actually one minute less than one and a half hour. Okay. And uh, then you st uh, obviously with this bigger surgery, recovery is always a little more... Uh, uh, and longer, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But we are just one month after the surgery. I remember you had some symptoms on the left side after mm -hmm. the surgery. Tell me, what symptoms mm -hmm. did you have? Well, the left side started, started hurting as well. Yeah, because I had to push the nerve to the side to get in, and there's so there was so little space there. Mm -hmm. But I just checked it. The strength is full now. Yeah. How is it doing now? Fine. Fine. So. Fine. 
it was a little rough view. I know the first week or so was rough, mm -hmm. but we turned around and you know that one and a half uh, hour surgery removed your pain in the back. Everything is in the perfect location, okay. and it's now just a healing time. Yes. Okay. Okay. So overall, so far happy with the results. So far, are you satisfied? I am satisfied. Excellent. Sure. Excellent. Now this is a big by any standard the big surgery, similar mm -hmm. surgery. I just was looking up in average take about six seven hours mm -hmm. and people uh, take uh, months many months mm -hmm. up to six months to just to be able to do basic daily activities sure. Sure. certainly we does not cutting the bone and muscle we can shorten that mm -hmm. overall I'm, I'm very happy with the result even though your surgery sure. wasn't a regular surgery yeah. it was a upgraded more difficult kind of surgery mm -hmm. I think the Lord is looking for you I think he is okay <laughs> very good